Buenos dias a ti. Buenos dias a ti. Hola, hola. Buenos dias a ti. Good morning, friends. Welcome to Circle. I'm so glad you're here with me today for Circle. Let's go ahead and do our breathing exercise this morning. I thought today we could do our snake breathing. So go ahead and put your hands here. Make sure your back is nice and straight. And we're going to take a deep breath in through our nose. And then when we let it out, we will make our snake sound and make our snaky hands. Okay, ready? Let's breathe in. And breathe out. Do it again, breathe in, and breathe out. One more time, breathe in, and out. Snake breathing makes me feel calm and ready for circle time. Let's talk about our calendar a little bit today. Would you like to sing our months of the year song? Okay, let's sing our months of the year song together. Ready? January, February, March, and April, May, June, July, and August, September, October, November, December, those are the months of the year. Do you remember how many months there are in a year? There are 12 months in a year. Mm -hmm. 12 months. Let's sing our days of the week song. Ready? Days of the week. 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 There's Sunday and there's Monday. There's Tuesday and there's Wednesday. There's Thursday and there's Friday. And then there's Saturday. Days of the week. 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 Were you able to count how many days there are in a week? Let's count them together. Sunday. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. That is seven days. There are seven days in a week. While we're talking about our calendar, let's talk about our seasons for a moment. Do you remember what season we are in right now? We're in the season of spring right now. What season comes after spring? Do you know? Here where I live in Black Mountain, North Carolina, in North America, it gets very hot after the season of spring. The season that comes next can be very, very hot. That season is called summer. So we have spring and summer, and what season comes next? After summer, it starts to cool down a little bit and the leaves on the trees begin to change color and fall off the trees. That's the season of fall or autumn. And after fall is when it becomes quite cold and it might snow or where you live it might just rain, but it gets colder for sure. That's the season of winter. So we have four seasons. We have spring, summer, fall, and winter. Four seasons in a year. Mm -hmm. Well, I remember talking to you yesterday about a specific string instrument. We have been talking about instruments this week, right? Yeah, and yesterday I showed you all the parts of a ukulele. I remember that. Well, today I want to talk to you a little more about percussion instruments. Remember, percussion instruments are instruments that are played by being shaken or by being struck. 
So I either have to shake an instrument to play it or I have to strike it with maybe with my hand or maybe with a mallet, but it needs to be struck to be played. So the other day I showed you this instrument. This is a tambourine. The tambourine makes that lovely jingling sound because the tiny cymbals on it clang together and make a jingle. Listen again. How did I make the tambourine make sound? I had to shake it, right? Yeah, a tambourine is a percussion instrument that needs to be shaken to make sound. I just love that sound of the tambourine. Here's another instrument that needs to be shaken to make sound. This is a maraca. Say maraca, that's a fun word, word to say. Maraca. I need to shake the maraca to make sound. Maraca is a percussion instrument as well. Did you notice this instrument? What is this instrument? It's a drum. It's a special kind of drum called a djembe. Watch how I can make the djembe make sound. Ready? <laughs> I am not very practiced at playing the djembe, but it's really fun to make a sound on it for sure. How did I play the djembe? What did I do to make it make sound? Did I shake it? Let's see if it makes sound when I shake it. No, not much sound when I shake it. What did I have to do? I had to hit it or strike it with my hand. Yes, a djembe is a percussion instrument that needs to be struck to be played. Would you like to hear someone play a djembe that has practiced it for many, many years and is a master djembe player? I would love to share that with you because I think djembe music that's played by someone who has practiced for so long is very neat to hear. I really enjoy listening to it. So I found a recording that we can listen to together. Ready? Isn't that interesting to listen to? Only one person was playing one instrument to make all of those sounds. Yeah, the djembe is a very neat instrument. I really enjoy listening to that. I have another kind of percussion instrument I want to show you. You have seen my bells before, haven't you? Yeah, if you've watched other circle time videos, you have seen my bells. The bells are a percussion instrument. Would you like to see how I can make sound on the bells? Okay. What did I do to make sound on the bells? I used my mallet to strike the bells. Yeah. The bells are a special kind of percussion instrument because they have different pitches. Some percussion instruments have different pitches. They are called pitched percussion instruments or tuned percussion instruments. And the bells are one of those. That means 
I can make up a song if I want to on the bells. <laughs> that is what makes pitched percussion instruments special. We can play songs with them. They have different pitches or notes. Yeah. I thought it might be fun today to show you how to make your own percussion instrument at home. You might not have any percussion instruments at home. I don't know. I had a few laying around, but some people don't collect instruments like I do. So I thought I could show you how to make an instrument out of things you already have in your home. Would you like to see that? Okay, I will put my bells down here. All right, do you remember what this instrument is called? It's called a maraca, a maraca. I'm going to show you how to make your own maraca at home. All you need is a little pitcher or something to pour with dried rice. That is rice that has not been cooked yet. If you don't have dried rice, you could use a, some sort of dried bean, like black beans or pinto beans, any kind of dried bean or you could even use uncooked lentils, dried lentils. Any kind of grain or bean that hasn't been cooked yet will make a nice sound for your maraca. And the only other thing you need is a jar with a lid on it. All right, I'm going to make my own maraca. This lid has two parts to it. Here's one part, here's the other part. Ready? put my lid back onto my jar. Would you like to hear the sound of my maraca? Okay, ready? I shake my maraca. Did you see that? <laughs> I wonder if you will find the items that you need to make your own maraca today. There are many other kinds of percussion instruments you could make at home. I bet you could find a way to make your own drum or anything, any other kind of percussion instrument. I would love to hear about the percussion instruments that you make at home. Mm -hmm. Well, before we stand up to do our movement exercise today, I would like to teach you a song that is going to go with our movement. So I will teach you the song first. This is a fun song to sing. I think you will enjoy it. I'll just move my table to the side. Okay, when I teach this song, I'll sing a part of it first, and then I'll do this and we'll sing it together. Ready? I heard, I heard an old man say, I heard, I heard an old man say, John Kanaka Naka to Rye, John Kanaka Naka to Rye. Today, today is a holiday, today, today is a holiday. John Kanaka Naka to Rye. John Kanaka Naka to Rye. To Rye, oh, to Rye. To Rye, oh, to Rye. John Kanaka Naka to Rye. John Kanaka Naka to Rye. Let's 
sing it all together. Ready? I heard, I heard an old man say, John Kameka Maka to Raye. Today, today is a holiday. John Kameka Maka to Raye. To Raye, oh, to Raye. John Kameka Maka to Raye. To Raye, oh, to Raye. John Kameka Maka to Raye. <laughs> All right, I think we are ready to stand up and do a movement exercise together using our John Kanaka Naka song. Would you like that? All right, let's stand up together. Okay, we are going to do a movement exercise that is called body percussion. Did you know that you can make your own body a percussion instrument? You can, you can. We can make sounds on our body by patting and clapping and stomping, can't we? Okay, well, I'm going to show you a certain way to do body percussion that will go with our John Kanakanaka song, okay? So, can you stomp? Just stomp one time, ready? Stomp, okay? Now, after you stomp, you're going to pat your legs one, two, three, four, five times, okay? Can we pat five times? Let's try it together, ready? One, two, three, four, five. Only five, don't keep going, only do five. So let's stomp, one, two, three, four, five. Let's try that again, ready? Stomp, one, two, three, four, five. Okay, this time after we pat five times, we're going to clap two times. Ready? Stomp, one, two, three, four, five. Okay, there's one more thing we're gonna do. We're going to stomp, we're going to pat five times, we're going to clap two times, and then we're going to pat our chest. Do a chest pat, okay? Ready? Stomp, one, two, three, four, five. Clap, clap, clap. That makes a different sound when I pat my chest than it does when I pat my thighs. That's what I just learned. All right, let's try it again, ready? Stomp, one, two, three, four, five. Okay, listen to this. Ready? John Kanaka Naka to Raye. Did you know that's what we were going to do? <laughs> Let's sing our John Kanaka Naka song and we can do our body percussion with it. Ready? I heard, I heard an old man say, John Kanaka Naka to Raye. Today, John Kanaka Naka to Raye, to Raye, oh, to Raye. John Kanaka Naka to Raye, to Raye, oh, to Raye. John Kanaka Naka to Raye. <laughs> All right, friends, let's go ahead and sit back down together, okay? Oh my goodness, that was so much fun. I really enjoyed doing that movement exercise with you. Friends, it's time to say goodbye now. I will see you again tomorrow, and I hope that you enjoy discovering what kind of percussion instruments you can make at home today. Adios amigos, adios, adios. Adios amigos, adios, adios. Goodbye my friends, goodbye, goodbye. Goodbye my friends, goodbye, goodbye. Bye friends, see you tomorrow.